story of love and lost and looking at the Holocaust and um, the aftermath of it, but also the humanity uh, surrounding the the Jewish people that were persecuted and and taken away um, during the Holocaust. I think this was a really compelling story. I think pairing it with images of the town today is very powerful and very impactful. And it shows you how far we've come, but also puts in retrospect how, um, how jarring and terrifying the events of the time were. I think at the center of the story, um, there's a lot of love uh, despite the darkness in this. And I think this piece does a great job of pulling that out. We are given this riveting tale and shown that even something that might be perceived as simplicity might be actually very complex and have a lot of layers that lie beneath the surface. We are given this experience of a gentleman who takes a morning walk uh, on the streets of Germany, but the underlying factor is the ground he walks on just so happens to be the same grounds of, you know, such nature as the Holocaust and World War II and the path of anti-Semitism at its core and this being sort of the beehive of Nazi activity uh, back in a different age. Uh, really reflect on his culture and his people and what it's like to be a Jew in Germany, an American Jew at that. And so we get to see this really good narrative uh, monologue that we sort of get to see and we get a really good visual, you know, from the cinematography standpoint of not only his day-to-day -day experience, but the beauty that exists within the present, but also the eeriness that lies beneath the surface as we're given this, you know, uh, you know, it's a really nice cohesive blend of past and present of what once was and what is now. And it's this play of, you know, life and color and black and white and really showing this, you know, historical footage of what happens to be one of the most heinous acts to ever uh, happen in humanity. And so we're given just such a emotional uh, experience from simply taking a walk. I thought this was such an interesting perspective. Um and such an interesting idea. I really, really enjoyed um, watching it. And the, the struggle that he was facing was so real. And I appreciate that he was being so vulnerable and being so transparent about that, of having this history that is hurtful and having this, you know, living in this town that is wearing on the soul um for him personally and trying to kind of navigate that um i thought was a beautiful message and then by the end kind of making that history not his own but taking an ownership over it in some kind of way of no not letting it you know hit him in the face every day but learn like learning to accept it and be a part of it and like I said make some kind of peace with it um because he does live there and he's going to continue to live there and uh so I thought that it was really beautiful um the the entire story the entire message behind it of you can't ignore history but you don't have to let it walk all over you you don't have to let it kind of take control of you or cripple you um you can acknowledge it and coexist with it and uh, be better from it and learn and you know have more compassion. I enjoyed this film's approach and mix of historic and contemporary high quality footage, both images and animations and video um, from a very dark, very dark time in humans' history. 
they have this great title and the closing quote is also a great compliment. They they give us great pieces when speaking of motivation, of cruelty and irony too. The sense of relief and cathartic moments of this daily walk and his poetically deep affirmations make this piece a true gem. Uh, there's nothing about it that I didn't um, appreciate or respect or admire. Really well written. It's informative. Um, it also feels very um, cinematic. Great uh, cinematography, but also just the way the story is told in, in big, broad strokes at times is just so effective. And then we get to some really fine details too. So there's just really great contrast and a good dynamic feel, um, you know, from, from one sort of scene to the next. Um, it just tells such a real, raw human story that it's impossible not to uh, sympathize or relate to it uh, on some level or another. It was a very moving short. What set this film apart for me was the compelling narrative of the lead's personal story about a relationship interspersed with the terrifying and heartbreaking photos and videos of Nazi Germany. It was also fascinating to witness the town back then and now. It was so dangerous back then, but now is seemingly so peaceful with just gold blocks on the ground to tell the sad tales of the past. The camera work was excellent and the soulful soundtrack really suited this film.